Well, hey guys, welcome back to Sun Adventures. Today I want to do a little something different on the channel and show you guys how to add some telemetry data onto your GoPro footage. So, I found a little website where you can download some piece of software. It's on dashware.net. So you go to their download tab, click all the terms of agreements, and hit download. Once you do that, you should have the Dashware program on your computer. So you'll double click on the Dashware software. And once it comes up, uh, you'll notice nothing's over here on the right side. It's blank over here because you've not added anything yet. So we're going to go down here and add some footage from a GoPro video I did uh, going out to Lake Number 3. Uh, on the Okoy River. So this is my trip in the truck out there. As soon as we add it, there we go, the process has started. So it extracts your GPMF data, which is your GP, GPS data, basically. And once it's done, it's going to add that data file over here. So now it's going to show you your, your data file, and it's going to show you your GoPro is the data file. Now, if you have another device that you're using, you can go down and click that if it did not recognize it. But we're just sticking to GoPro today. So we'll hit Add. So now your CSV file is over here, and you can see the GoPro is what that CSV file means. Now I'm going to take this down and go ahead and maximize this. So let's start off with the uh, project gauges. So it automatically loads these several project gauges. So you got your GoPro logo. You got your GoPro stat box here. You got your speed chart right here. And you got your map over here on the left side. A speedometer on the left side as well. And then your, your G-Force right down here at the bottom. Now you can also go in and click these, uh, move them around as much as you want to. Um, you can change the colors, the fonts as well. If you uh, deep dive into the program, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go ahead and leave this as is and create this video. Now another thing is your gauge toolbox. So, you know, if you want to change the way these gauges look, you can go in here and pick a different gauge if you want to and uh, bring that over to your video in a different overlay. So we're going to go back to project and we are going to go ahead and start this about here and play this video so you can kind of see how this works. So you can see the map over here where the truck is starting to move up the map and which directions it takes. Down here you can see the mile per hour that the truck is taking and the g-force that the truck is making. And we still have our GoPro logo and you can go in and change that to, to whatever kind of logo you want. If you have a channel logo that would be great to put up there. So you got your stat box and now you can change this to however you want it to look and whatever stats you want to bring up. Now, right now, with just the preloaded ones, we have miles and distance. We have our altitude, um, the elevation gain in feet, and our time and date. And the last one is our speed tracker. So this kind of just shows you uh, when the speed goes up and down as you're driving down the road. Okay guys, so we got the video the way we want it. We got all of our overlays in. So we're going to go simply go to File and go down to Create Video. Now it's going to show you your file name, where it came from. It's going to show your width, your height. Uh, this was taken in 1080p. Uh, it shows your bit rate, your frame rate, which this was taken in 30 frames per second. And you can pick where you want your file to go to after you've created this video. So we're going to hit Create Video. And it's going to start the create video file. It's going to give you a elapsed time. It'll give you your total time um, to create this file. 
So one thing I did want to show you is I've got my task manager pulled up here. Now this program is completely uh, CPU bound. So if you have a high-end graphics card, um, it is not going to utilize that. As you can see right now, um, I'm only using about 8% of my graphics card and a total of 36% on my CPU. So if you have a high-end graphics card, that's great. Um, but this is CPU bound, you know, up to 43, 46, almost 50% of my CPU. So the higher rated CPU you have, um, the faster this render is going to go. All right, guys, so our video rendering is complete, so we'll just simply hit OK, and we'll go to the source footage of that video. All right, guys, so i got all this put together now. So on the top left, we have our destination. On the bottom left, we have our mile per hour and compass. And right next to that, we have our G-Force. Over on the right side, we have our speed tracker, which just goes up and down as speed creases. So on the right side in the middle, we have our miles, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Our altitude is 1,900 feet. Our elevation gain is 137 feet. And the time. And above that, we have our GoPro logo. Alright guys, so for the rest of this video, I am just going to let this play out so you can see how all this telemetry data works out.